think I'm gonna try something that I ain't, that I ain't never did before on this one. Let's go. Get your lighters, bro, let's get high, yeah. Let's get high, Got that blueberry, I'm coming, it's that fire. That fire. Get your lighters, bro, let's get high, yeah. Let's get high, Got that blueberry, I'm coming, it's that fire. It's that fire. Now I'm a little bit of blueberry, yum, yum, that I never would have thought that they could taste this good. Thank God for the man who put it in my hood. It's got me singing melodies I never thought I would. Halloween 2015. This is the week seven review, week eight preview, Commission's Corner coming to you live from Wainimi here with three OFC members. We got Jimmy, Bungles, Bungles and Superchargers in the house. That's right. All dressed up in the keg outfit. Let's go. So uh, let's recap last week real quick. First, we had myself, Mike Vikes, take on Bungles. Uh, I throttled it to him, 118.38 to 97.14. Then we had Niner Nation, 805 take on Got Him Coach. Got Him Coach squeezed it out by 5 points, 86 to 81. Then we had Donkey Hunters. He had to uh, take on Cyborg. Cyborg had a real big night, and uh, he ended up with 121 after the end of Monday Night Football to Donkey Hunters, 83. We had Superchargers take on Yellow D's in a big, big battle. That big battle went to Yellow D's Sunday night, uh, 104.76 to 88.44. Shocker. Then in the final matchup of last week, we had Smoothie hey, take on Jimmy. Jimmy put it to him by 12, 96.82 to 84.86. Some things that happened in the league this week. Our, uh, well, first of all, Cyborg had his baby. So, uh, Riker Correa. Congratulations. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the world. Welcome to the future G League member. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have one trade go on. That trade was uh, Got Him Coach. 
sent Ooh. over Alan Hearns to uh, Cyborg for Charles Smith. 30 guys, point difference. What do you guys think about that? 30 point difference between those players. Who's got him, coach? Got him, coach. Is Marshall sends over Marshall. Alan Hearns. Oh, Marshall. Garbage time. Ooh. For Gosh. for Charles Sims. 30 Might point be. difference. Wow. It'd end up in uh, a sort of, but uh, maybe Dad might help oh. him out with that again. He had to touch down five oh, weeks no, in Dad's a row. helping him out again this year, though. Five weeks in a row, Alan Hearns got a touchdown, and then he decides to trade him for Chris Sims. After Doug Jaguar. Martin, I think oh. Doug Martin had a little bit of a segment on the last co commission's corner, as he was a, pretty much the owner of the backfield over there. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and look at the preview coming up for this week. I will be taking on Superchargers. Uh, we already had a thing go down on Thursday night. I had Lamar Miller save the day with the touchdown, but barely getting 9.4, and he had Legarrette Blunt go off for 7.4. So. We're pretty much on even ground coming into Sunday. Then we got Jimmy taking on Yellow D's. Jimmy had Landry go off. How do you feel about Landry's performance? Doesn't matter about Landry. Seven points is seven points. Okay. <laughs> Let's take it back to Superchargers. First place, he was out of there. Then let's move ahead to Smooth Tony's. First place, he's out of there. Bobby. Mr. Yellow D is your next. Coming for you. <laughs> the first place assassinator. There you go. You have it right there, folks. Niner Nation 805 takes on Cyborg, where Niner Nation had Tom Brady go off for 30 points. I think we all know at this point that Tom Brady is a beast, and he was probably one of the steals of the draft. Lucky Niner Nation 805 in that aspect. Uh, Cyborg has the luck of a new baby coming, so we'll see how that one works out. Uh, Bungles takes on Donkey Hunters in the Battle of the Brothers. Bungles, how'd you do this week so far? You had some stuff Thursday night, huh? Gronkot, Gronkowski and Edelman, 37 points. Lock it up. Lock it up. Yeah. And then he had uh, Dion Lewis go for 17 and a nice performance by him, but he plugged in Tannehill at the last minute. Ooh, thankful for that. And Tannehill only got about seven, so uh, that's going to hurt As much as Landry. Yeah. Hey, seven points is seven points. Got him, coach takes on Smoothie. Uh, neither one of them had any players going. Uh, so we'll see if uh, Smoothie continues to slide after a loss last week or if he can rebound. A um, couple things that I wanted to go over with a few of you guys. Uh, what? Uh, so, Jimmy, let's start with you. I think the main question everybody would have in the league is, is why Jimmy? Jimmy's the guy who comes in and takes your girl. Jimmy D? Okay. Jimmy Deep. <laughs> Jimmy Deep. All right. And then uh, Bungles. So, Bungles, how does it feel to have Rob Gronkowski on your team? Hey, loving life. Loving it. Uh, never going to give him up. So, happy to be there. And then Superchargers, how does it feel to have such a prolific team at every aspect most of the time, but then now the running back trouble you're in with the way your running backs went down? How, where's your mindset? No trouble. I got Ricky Sensation coming through. And the true number two in New England, which is as good as anybody else's number one. <laughs> well, there you have it. We're here out in the OFC getting it done. Commission's Corner. Happy we Halloween! Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween 2015. Halloween. OFC Never going to resign. Hashtag Commission's Corner. Hashtag G League for life. OFC, OFC. versus VFC. Oh.